Hi, I am Gaurav Pradhan. I am from India. I am a second year MPA student uh, at School of International and Public Affairs at Columbia University. So, uh, I come from a background where I worked in private sector, non-profit sector and public sector. Uh, uh, my experience in non-profit sector where I did a fellowship with Teach for India. Teach for India is a non-profit organization on the same lines as Teach for America. I was a class teacher uh, of grade third grade and grade fourth students for two years. And after that experience, I knew which space I am going to be in. Uh, after Teach for India experience, I worked in an education project with the city government of Mumbai, where I went further one level up. I worked with the teachers and I worked with the government officials uh, in capacity building, in uh, leadership training. And uh, that made me realize how important it is, sound program design and uh, sound policy making. Uh, I decided, the, I realized that I need to gain skills in uh, that area and uh, I decided that I will apply to SIPA, being at the center of policy making. Firstly, it was very overwhelming initially uh, to study in an institution where Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the man who drafted constitution of India studied. Uh, plus, you get to learn from accomplished professors such as uh, ex-finance minister of Chile, chief economist of UNDP and uh, speechwriter for the CEO of IBM, to, to name a few. I got to do some interesting things at SIPA. I worked for state government of Andhra Pradesh in India during my summer internship where uh, I designed a CSR strategy for the higher education department of the state. Data and society is very important in current uh, uh, scenario, I feel, especially in, in India where I worked with the city government of Mumbai and the non-profits, gathering data and like making sense out of it, analyzing it and then dis uh, designing your policies around it. That is what is evidence-based policy making is. And uh, it is extremely important to like know which direction you are going in. That's why data is extremely important. Uh, so that we take proper decisions and like, you know, do a sound program design which is going to impact millions of lives. The capstone that we are working on, uh, so uh, for that, the very important right now is we are working with the coffee producers in Peru. Uh, the production in Peru went down for like a lot of years after uh, uh, a, a rust hit, uh, hit the coffee uh, plants in Peru. So we were, met the coffee cooperatives in Peru and like you know we gathered, we had designed interviews and we gathered data which we are going to suggest our client to use uh, the data to design a web platform because it is very important that the, uh, the, the program is going to impact the farmers and those farmers get to see what is happening all over the country and they need to access that data and they need to access and they, even they need to make sense of it, even uh, the people who are going to handle the program in future, they need to make sense of it. So yeah, that is what we did with the, uh, we gathered the data and we, have, we are going to give it to the client. And that web platform, so the, for the producers are going to get access to the web platform. So the data is going to be fed to that platform. And after that, the farmers will know, you know, about the various best practices in the country, the various price, the current market prices. So they will be able to make better decisions and there will be like positive in uh, incentives the, they could act on because they will get to see what other people are doing and they will get access to training. So that's, this web platform is going to be like an overarching, like all encompassing platform, which is very necessary right now in the age of technology and data.